Today, I wanna share with you some healthy finds from Sam's Club. We try to eat mostly a whole food, real food diet. Now we're 80-20, we don't do it all the time, maybe 90-10, whatever you wanna call it. That is what we try to cook at home. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what all I bought at Sam's Club today and talk about some of my favorite items that I saw while I was there. So the first thing I picked up was some maple syrup and we almost always buy maple syrup when we're at Sam's Club. Today I stocked up because it hadn't been in a while and I like to keep a stock of it. So we bake with the maple syrup and then I love to make myself a maple latte with it. This maple syrup is organic so for organic maple syrup, they do have certain standards they have to meet for like the types of fertilizer that are used and the process in which the trees are tapped. And it's also better for the biodiversity of the ecosystem. And I also picked up some honey and they had two different kinds of honey at my Sam's Club. They had pure organic raw and unfiltered honey and then they had a Midwest honey, which I live in the Midwest. So I'm guessing if you don't live in the Midwest, it may be different. But when I look into what organic honey means and like the standards for that, it's not very set in the US. And so it's based upon the country of which it was imported. So like the organic one was imported from Brazil. The organic standards are more Brazil standards. So that might be something to look into because it could mean quite different things depending on what country it comes from. Because obviously some countries have a lot stricter standards. We use this honey for baking more and then we use local honey, really local to our area for putting in oatmeal and yogurt and those kinds of things. So they have a lot of different oils at Seams Club and I like to pick up my coconut oil from there. Their coconut oil is cold pressed, unrefined, so I like to get some of that from Sam's Club. And then another thing that we picked up today was we were needing some olive oil. I did buy the California Olive Ranch olive oil this time. I don't always buy this brand, but I do like to make sure that my olive oil has a seal on it. This one has a certified extra virgin seal. There are several different seals you can look for on olive oil to make sure that it's true olive oil because a lot of olive oil, especially if it's imported from another country, it's kind of a corrupt industry and a lot of lower quality quality oils could get mixed in the olive oil to kind of dilute it and make it go further. So it is important to look for a seal in your oil. I noticed like Sam's Club had organic olive oil that was their brand. And I would just skip right over that because it didn't have any seal saying that it was actually certified or olive oil. So I'll link a blog post that I wrote several years ago all about olive oil down below if you're interested in reading more about that. Another thing we picked up today was this grass-fed ghee in a big tub. My husband actually grabbed this. He likes to cook with it. Something I noticed when I was at Sam's Club last time was organic spices. And these are so much more affordable than other grocery stores. So I did get some cumin. We use a lot of cumin and it's a really big jar for like the same price as the little jars at a lot of other store. I also got some garlic powder and some black pepper. So they don't have like a ton of them, but they did have several different things in organic spices. So I'm just gonna use these and refill my smaller spice jar with those. They also have pure vanilla that you can pick up. And we have some vanilla that we're making, homemade vanilla right now, but it's still brewing. And we're trying to get it to brew a whole year before we use it. So I needed some to kind of tide us over until that's ready. The only other oil that I really buy or would use would be avocado oil. And I use it minimally, but I do use it sometimes. So I actually didn't buy this this time, but I bought it last time I went to Sam's Club was a bag of almond flour. I don't actually use almond flour much anymore. We more stick with like sourdough for our baby baked goods and our cooking, but occasionally I will still use almond flour to make a baked good, some cookies or muffins. They also have in the baking aisles a whole bunch of different baking nuts, like just like the plain nuts, chopped nuts, different kinds of nuts that you can bake with. And I've not ever bought those there because I don't go through them in huge quantities, but I was noticing them and thinking, you know, around Christmas time when I'm doing more baking, that might be a good option. Last few times I went, they have had this Rouse marinara sauce and we love this sauce. I can't say, but I was kind of not loving 
bread sauce before I started buying this and it is so good. So I definitely recommend it. And the ingredients on it are really good. Italian whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. No additives, no sugar added in it. Just really good sauce and it tastes really good too. Sometimes they have an organic, like a three pack of the organic member mark marinara sauce they didn't have that today but it's fine i actually really love the route so for the canned meat they had canned salmon it was atlantic caught salmon. it was not wild caught atlantic salmon that's in the cans is usually going to be farmed salmon so i skipped that they did however have wild caught albacore tuna so that would be a really cool find as far as nut butters i find their peanut butter to be pretty disappointing you definitely won't find it here <laughs> because it has palm oil and sugar added in it and that's really not necessary you can find peanut butter with just peanuts and salt almost everywhere you shop the almond butter however is just almonds and salt so that would be a good find if almond butter is something you use of course, they've got loads of packaged snack aisles, and one of my favorite finds lately that we have been loving are these everything seasoned cashews. These are really good, and the ingredients are cashews, maple syrup, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, minced garlic, minced onion, and salt. They don't have any weird oils or weird ingredients, and they taste pretty good, so I definitely recommend these. Of course, they have lots of other nut blends, and they have like pistachios with minimal seasoning, and those kinds of things. Lots of different good options. I did also pick up some of these tart dried cherries. We love dry cherries and dried cranberries. It's not something that we just sit around and eat typically because this does have added sugar in it, but I love to add them in cookies or something like that if I'm baking. One thing I did see that was new was they now have beef jerky sticks with no nitrates added in and healthier option of beef jerky sticks. I was excited to see that because whenever I was last at Sam's Club before my membership expired in November, so like five months ago, they certainly didn't have that then. All of their options had nitrates added in and so I was really excited to see that. I just ordered a bunch of beef jerky from Thrive Market, so I didn't buy any this time, but I'll definitely be trying those in the future. If you go and look at their chips, it seems like the chips vary from time to time. I don't consider chips like a whole food, but I do like the organic blue corn tortilla chips. I think that they're a really good option as far as chips go, and occasionally I have found a chip that's made with olive oil and I definitely prefer buying chips that are cooked with olive oil or avocado oil if I'm going to buy them. A lot of their snack bars can look healthy but just like most stores they are loaded with sugar and other ingredients. I do like the kind bars. I think that they're a better option. It's not something that we buy regularly for our house, so I didn't pick any of those up, but if you're looking for the best option of bar, I would definitely grab those. They also have perfect bars, so those are kind of the better options that I saw there. But really, we try to stick with whole foods for our snacks and reserve bars for like road trips or if we're on the go. They have a few other packaged snacks that would be kind of healthy. So of course they have some pouches, that don't have any sugar added in and unsweetened applesauce. You could buy those kinds of things. Typically, we don't do pouches because they just don't fill the kids up. So I kind of find them to be a waste more than anything. My kids love them. I'm not saying they don't. When they get them other places, they are thrilled. But they have those there. And then they have unsweetened applesauce cups, fruit cups. Some of them were added in water and some of them in fruit juice. Those are the two things I look for whenever I buy fruit cups and mandarin oranges cups. Over in the fridge section, I grabbed some Kerrygold butter and they also have the spreadable carry gold. I also picked up these pasture-raised eggs. I'm a little disappointed in them. Honestly, I wasn't expecting great things because we've bought pasture eggs different places and it seems like they vary. I really like it when I get a pack that has a really orange yolk, which I can find in one particular brand. And I was anxious to try the member's mark and see what it was like, but I just cracked one open and I got it to show you and it's pretty yellow. So I've definitely bought eggs from different stores that said pasture raised before that had more of an orange yolk than this. And of course, if I'm able to get local eggs, that is always gonna be a better option. All these carries a brand that the yolks typically look way more orange than that. Over in the fridge section, I also picked up some of the organic spinach. They also have the spring mix, which I usually will buy at least one of them. A lot of times I'll buy both when I'm there. And I do find that price to be better than most places. They also had organic carrots and lots of different produce. I used to buy broccoli in a huge bag that was washed, pre-cut, ready to use. I didn't pick any of that up today. Something else new I saw this time that wasn't there last time 
time was they had Kerrygold cheese. They just had it in one variety. They also have the big things of Baby Bell cheese, which <laughs> was my pregnancy craving with my daughter. So I actually don't buy it anymore because I find whatever I crave when I'm pregnant, I don't usually want it later. I did notice they had some different options of grass-fed lamb available, and I hadn't seen that before. And I do think most, most lamb is gonna be grass-fed, but sometimes in the US it is gonna be grain finished. They also had grass-fed beef in big three pound packs. The price was pretty comparable to what you'll get it at another grocery store, so it wasn't a great deal. I actually get it quite a bit cheaper when it's on sale at my local health food grocery store. Sometimes I will pick up just chicken, a big pack of chicken breast there, but Sam's Club isn't really where I go for my meat, so I didn't buy any meat there today. We did buy several things today in the frozen section. I like this big mixed fruit bag for our smoothies. I also picked up organic strawberry smoothies and I noticed that they had organic blueberries. I didn't get those because we really prefer wild blueberries and I didn't see wild blueberries, but blueberries and strawberries are usually on the dirty dozen every year. So it is something I try to buy organic. I picked up some Alaska sockeye salmon. When I buy fish, I always look for wild caught. I like it to be Alaskan this is but definitely wild caught and I always check to see like the country that's listed on the package this is a product of the USA which I really liked because they will ship things to China to process it and then back so I try to avoid if it says a product of China because their standards are not nearly as high as ours are and then I also bought some wild caught Atlantic cod I hope that this little healthy Sam's Club haul helps to inspire you when you're out grocery shopping and give you an idea of what you can find at Sam's Club if you're not already shopping there. We don't have a Costco here, so Sam's Club is where we go, kind of bulk food buying. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out more videos about different stores and finding healthy groceries. Typically, I'm here offering suggestions on feeding your family well and raising healthy kids.